हेलो क्लास ट्वेल्थ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दिस इज पोलिनेशन ओके पोलिनेशन बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम एज वेल एज फॉर योर नीट एग्जाम ऑल्सो सो मेनी क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इन टू योर एग्जाम राइट सो दैट्स आई एम से सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक एंड वील स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन शेड फ्रॉम द एंथर टू द स्टिग्मा of a pistil is called pollination right in place of this definition you can make your own which is very easy the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma is called pollination that is also correct definition here we will discuss the pollination topic in detail and we will start it from the kind of pollination as you know the pollination is of three type okay three kinds are there ऑटोगैमी जिटेनोगैमी एंड जेनोगैमी राइट लेट स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम ऑटोगैमी एज यू एज यू कैन सी हियर ऑटो ऑटो मीन्स सेल्फ ओके गैमी मीन्स पॉलिनेशन राइट सो द मीनिंग ऑफ इट सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन हियर यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम देर इज वन फ्लॉर इट इज बाय सेक्शुअल फ्लॉर मीन्स बोथ द सेक्सेस आर प्रेजेंट दियर द मेन पार्ट इज anther and the female part is pistil having the top portion is called stigma okay by the definition the transfer of poll pollen from anther to stigma is called pollination so here the transfer of pollen will takes place from this anther to the stigma of the same flower so flower is same and the pollen will transfer from the anther which is the male part of this flower to the stigma which is the platform For the landing of anther there, okay, it's a part of female part of flower, okay. So here transfer is going on from the anther to the stigma of the same flower. So this is called self pollination, and in this term this is known as autogamy, right? So now you just see the definition of it. The types of pollination achieved in the same flower is called autogamy, okay. So for the self pollination or for the autogamy. the plant complete some modification into it so here also the same thing is there first of all you can see this term this is called synchrony what is synchrony the synchrony is the term in the biology for the flower where in the flower male and female part both will become mature in same time i am repeating it what is synchrony the male part means anther and the female part means pistil both will develop in same time and will become mature in same time so what will happen there the bursting of anther means dissection of anther to make the pollen free and the same time the receptive power to receiving the pollen grain power of this stigma both will become active in same time so this is called synchrony right after that the next is anther and stigma i'm talking about the auto autogamy the anther and stigma should lie closely okay if both will nearby of each other dono ek dusre ke paas mein rahenge so the transfer of pollen will become easy and that will sure the autogamy or self pollination right then are some example like viola oxalis and camellia these are the three species of the plant which having the autogamic type pollination okay these three species have develop two kind of flowers all these three species develop two kind of flower this is chiasmogamous flower and calistogamous flower so let study the chiasmogamous first if you will see the chiasmogamous flower so chiasmogamous are what what type of flower the flower jo open hote hain jinke petals open hote hain okay so the flower having the open petals are called open flowers so we can see the anther and stigma part of these flowers very easily as you can see here in this diagram this is the chiasmogamous type open petals flower so open flower so there anther and stigma expose 
ओके एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड कैसमोगेमस फ्लॉर राइट इफ द पेटल्स आर ओपन ऑल दो द स्टिग्मा एंड एंथर इज वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू इच अदर बट देन ऑल्सो देर इज सम चांसेस कि विंड कहीं कोई और पोलन को लेके आ जाए कहीं और से और द इंसेक्ट कैन ब्रिंग सम मोर पोलन फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट फ्लॉर सो देर इज सम चांसेस विच कैन अवॉइड द सेल्फ पोलिनेशन और क्रॉस पोलिनेशन के चांसेस बन जाते हैं बट थोड़े से ओके एंड द सेकेंड इज कैलेस्टो गेमस फ्लॉर वट आर दीज कैलेस्टो गेमस फ्लॉर अपोजिट ऑफ कैसमो गेमस द कैलेस्टो गेमस फ्लॉर पेटल्स आर क्लोज राइट सो एंथर एंड स्टिग्मा पैक्ड इन साइड द क्लोज पेटल्स ओके सो दीज आर कॉल्ड क्लोज फ्लॉर नाउ एंथर एंड स्टिग्मा आर पैक्ड इन साइड द पेटल्स सो देर इज नो चांस कि इनमें कहीं बाहर से कोई पोलिनेशन हो पाए ओके सो वट एवर विल टेक्स प्लेस विल टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड इट सो द कैलिस्टो गेमस फ्लॉर विल गिव हंड्रेड परसेंट पोलिनेशन सेल्फ पोलिनेशन ओके एंड दे डोंट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ एजेंसीज लाइक विंड इन साइड दे डोंट नीड फॉर द पोलिनेशन बिकॉज पोलिनेशन विल टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द पैक्ड पीटल्स ओके राइट सो दीज आर वर्ड द कैलिस्टो गेमस फ्लॉर मीन्स क्लोज फ्लॉर ओके आफ्टर the autogamy we will discuss about the geitonogamy as you can see here it is a very simple uh, ray diagram of a plant and plant having two flower okay so one plant having uh, many flower here so the transfer of pollen from one flower to the stigma of the another flower of the same plant the plant is one but the flower are different here so the transfer of pollen is takes place in from one flower to the stigma of another flower so this kind of pollination is called geitonogamy although it's a kind of cross pollination but genetically here you can see because plant is one so gene of both the flowers are same so genetically it is what the autogamous type flower okay and this is the autogamy type pollination okay the another is xenogamy xenogamy is completely you can say xeno means different okay xeno means cross so the cross pollination is there so here you can see two a and b two different plants are there and they having many flowers so the transfer of pollen from one plant flower to the another plant flower stigma is called xenogamy that means cross pollination it is completely cross pollination and we know very well pollen don't have any kind of uh any kind of mechanism which can make it motile pollen is non motile so the pollen need some help to transfer so it can be biotic or it can be abiotic right so how this pollen will transfer from one plant to another plant right so for this the pollen will take the help first of all we will discuss about uh, the xenogamy it is completely cross pollination and it need agent for the transfer as you know so these are the agents of pollination okay abiotic agents are wind and water and biotic agents are animal so in this topic you have seen it very clearly definition of pollination kinds of pollination what is autogamy two important modification what is casmogamous and callistogamous flowers okay what is geitonogamy and what is xenogamy at last you have seen some agents of pollination and there you have seen the abiotic agencies are wind and water and the biotic agencies are animal in next we will discuss about the wind pollination okay the pollination takes place by the help of wind and now we will discuss about wind pollination wind pollination which also known as anemophily in a typical biological term this is known as anemophily that means wind pollination wind pollination is what pollination takes place with the help of wind 
Okay, here wind will help to transfer a very light weighted pollen from anther to stigma. Okay, it is very important to understand here the wind pollination pollen grain are modified. Okay, by the help of a very developing mechanism inside the anther, which makes it very suitable. to transfer by the help of wind right so some many more modifications are there which make it very comfortable wind pollination okay what these modifications are some modifications i have written here let discuss these all modification one by one first of all the wind pollinating pollen should be non sticky okay so this non sticky nature of the anther make it very much perfect to travel with the help of wind right the flower should have well exposed stamens the stamens should have the proper height which can uh, place the anther exposed into the uh, air area or when wind will come so the pollen will transfer from the anther very easily right feathery stigma the stigma should be feathery there in the flower which in which wind pollination takes place this feathery structure of the uh, stigma will trap the pollen which will come with the wind so this feathery structure will trap these all pollens very easily okay so that's why this is a very good modification in wind pollination in wind pollinating flower so single ovule found in one ovary so one ovary will have one ovule only right so it is very easy to identify if the flower if the species having the wind pollination so that means its ovary having only one ovule inside it right the next is the inflorescence which i taught you in class uh, 11 the inflorescence means the growing of the flower on the top of plant so here the grow the growth of the flower takes place like it means in group many flowers are present so which which make a very large structure of flower so wind can take the pollen very easily from there okay so many flowers grow in a group for example corn cob जो मकई होती है मकई के ऊपर का जो बाल वाला हिस्सा आपने देखा दैट इज कॉल्ड द कॉर्न क्रॉप सो मेनी फ्लावर्स आर देयर ओके सो विंड कैन टेक द पोलन फ्रॉम देयर वेरी इजीली एंड द नेक्स्ट इज ग्रासेस इन ग्रास आल्सो द विंड पोलिनेशन टेक्स प्लेस ओके नेक्स्ट इज अबाउट वाटर पोलिनेशन वाटर पोलिनेशन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हाइड्रोफिली ओके सो what is water pollination the types of pollination in which water will help to transfer the pollen from one point to a yeah, one place to another place right so that is water pollination the water pollination takes place into algae some bryophytes and pteridophytes thus our order plants okay example are valesian area and hydrilla this valesneria and hydrilla is a fresh water species right and justeria is marine water species in which the water pollination takes place there is different kind of techniques plant use for the water pollination okay let's discuss these techniques are for example this valesneria in valesneria the pollen takes place on the surface of water what happen here in this valesian area the female part grow and reach till the surface of water right and the male flower release the pollen in the surface of water and with the current of the water the pollen come till stigma of the flower and the pollination complete there but where on the surface of water okay just the surface of water the pollination takes place in the valesian area female flower comes up okay the second is 
water grasses water grasses having a different kind of technique here the male flower the anther release the pollen inside the water and the pollination takes place inside the water in water grasses okay just opposite of this scenario some exceptions are also there if we are talking about the hydrophily or the water pollination some exceptions are also there means the plants are aquatic but the water will not help there in the time of pollination they will not take the help of water here means water pollination is not there although the plants are aquatic these are water hyacinth and water lily these are the aquatic plant but their flower grow on the uh, little bit uh, from the little bit high height of the water okay and air help here air and some insects help here uh in the time of pollination okay so these are the exception the water hyacinth and the water lily if this question will come in your neat exam then what kind of uh pollination takes place here so air pollination maximally air pollination and sometime insect pollination also okay although these are the aquatic plants right if we are talking about some aquatic plants so there is some one more beneficial modification present on the surface of pollen right what modification is that the pollen outer surface the outer membrane of the pollen is covered by mucilaginous covering this mucilaginous covering is a having a chemical which is known as mucilage and this mucilage is protect the pollen from the effect of water so by that when the pollen having this mucilage covering so water cannot decompose it okay and that protect the pollen from the effect of water right and next is about insect pollination which is also known as animal pollination this is this type of pollination takes place with the help of insects or animal right the flower which uh, uh, in which uh, the insect pollination will takes place these flowers are always colorful and these flower will produce nectar this you keep in your mind the flower which need the help of insects animals either ant or other bat these all flowers will have colors and these will produce nectar too right for example amorphophyllous flower it is the tallest flower near about 6 feet height okay the tallest flower you, you just note down this name amorphophyllous flower the tallest flower near about 6 feet height okay it provide the place for the egg laying to the insects so insects lay egg inside this flower okay and egg place here inside it okay so one side this flower is giving the benefit to the insects although many flowers provide the nectar to the insects as a gift okay chalo bhai aap aur pollen ko transfer karo badle mein hum aapko nectar provide karenge but not all plants some plant provide a different kind of uh, benefit and different kind of awards to the insects and amorphophyllous flower is one of them right it providing the shelter for the egg laying and the eggs are protect here inside the flower so it give uh, the benefit to the insects like it okay and the second is it is the tallest flower near about 6 feet in height okay the next is about yucca flower this yucca flower is also very very important flower and many time the question come from neat exam okay from this yucca flower this here is one friendship between the yucca flower and the moth pakki dosti hai dono mein okay this yucca flower having locule the outer uh, means the inner cavity of ovary and the outer area of the embryo sac is called locule that i taught you in the previous topic also right so there the moth is lay egg 
and these eggs are present there in the locule of leucoplasm so as the sheet formation takes place and sheet become larger so that help to the egg for the hatching okay so one side the the yucca flower is providing the shelter and place for the egg of the moth and second side it is helping in the time of egg uh, egg hatching okay so this is these are the some modification in the time of pollination which different kind of plants use right so that's all for today in next topic i will teach you about pollen pistil interaction till that time children stay at home save your and your family life god bless all of you